na chuo kikuu cha Jaramogi Oginga Odinga katika kaunti ya Siaya kinaendesha mradi wa ufugaji wa wadudu hariri na upanzi wa mizabibu aina ya mare ambao majani yake yanatumika kuwalisha wadudu hao tofauti na wakulima wengine nchini chuo hicho kinalenga kujumuisha wakulima katika kaunti ya Siaya katika uzalishaji wa hariri kwa kuwa jukumu wa upanzi wa miti ya mizabibu ya mare na kusambaza majani yake kwa taasisi hiyo Mulindi Keri na taarifa hiyo kwa kina Ziara katika chuo kikuu cha Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, bewa la siya ya mjini, unakaribisha na mmea hii. Mimea ambayo imepanda kwenye shamba ya kari 35 kwa lengo la kuzalisha majani ya kualisha wadudu hariri. Research, three years ago, as a pilot, and um, right now we have gone beyond just uh, establishing the, the basics in terms of the mulberry plant uh, growing, or as boundary to the greenhouse where we are also feeding the worms and rearing the worms and feeding them there up to and including uh, the production of the silk itself. Ni mimea ambayo imekarabatiwa kwenye maabara na huwa tayari baada ya miezi mitatu pekee. This plant takes a maximum of 3 months. And after one, after three months then you are able to have either start to do the harvesting. But the, the main thing why we have to develop and grow the mulberry is that the leaves are critical for the worms. Wakulima katika eneo la Nyanza watanufaika pakubwa na mmea huu. Wanachohitaji ni kuupanda kisha kusambaza katika chuo kikuu cha Joust kuwa na kipato. It's just by growing the the mulberry plant itself they would then supply the university because we have set up the processes here right and they are okay and they are working for us uh, they would sell the dry leaf to the university here and of course it will require meeting certain uh, threshold it's almost like uh, uh, plucking tea leaves and taking it to the factory Majani yake ni kiungo muhimu katika ukuzaji wa wadudu hawa jinsi anavyoeleza Dr. Richard Magwanga anayesimamia mradi huu katika chuo kikuu cha Jaramogi The silk has got a natural instinct that when they are ready to start to do something called spinning they will climb up by themselves without them being moved they just climb then each will move to every box and in every box they now start to form a cocoon ni katika koko hizi ambako wadudu hao hupinda hariri zenye urefu wa kilomita sita. In a single cocoon the, it, it coils itself and it forms a length of 6 kilometers long silk fiber. So this cocoon is made of a 6 kilometer long. The dead cocoons can also be crushed to form uh, feed for livestock and even fish. Aje, hariri utolewa vipi kwenye koko? You simply boil your water, use your warm water, you dip this thing into warm water and it will be able to see the 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 end of the fiber and you just simply use a normal loom. From one one hectare of land on an annual basis, on an annual basis you'll be generating not less than about $3,000. Mulindi Kerry Runinga Citizen County Yes, yeah, yeah.